Ngop an Ngop an <laughs> If that helps a little bit This video is on how to <coughs> pronounce my name and my name is Ngop An Ha, first name Ngop An, last name Ha. I am making this video to help folks, especially if folks are going to be going on the internet and looking up how to pronounce the name anyways. I just wanted to let you know that you don't have to worry about how other people pronounce it or so much about how you and I pronounce it. If you are pronouncing it the best way that you can and you can remember my name, that would be great. Just be happy when you call my name. <laughs> hey, Ngopan, how are you doing, Ngopan? Hey, Ngopan, can you help me with this? That type of thing. So my, the way that my name is spelled is N G O C space A N H. The thing that trips people up the most is the the beginning, which then s just sets people up for disaster. I can't really hear anything else after that. Um, so it's the N G sound, and I think what could help folks is just imagine the word running and adding ops an op like special ops or operation <laughs> and combining that so running ops and then you would basically take out the running part and the s at the end and it would just be op <laughs> and my name has two parts to it, or it has two syllables, just like somebody could be named Mary Ann, Mary Ann, unless they go by just Mary, then I would imagine that you'd want to say their whole name, like Mary Ann, would be like that. My name has two parts to it, two syllables, which is Ngop and I think a lot of questions I get asked when I say my name is what? <laughs> Ooh, one more time? I'm not gonna say it. I don't want to butcher it. How many? I bet you. I bet a lot of people butcher it. I'd say not as many people butcher it as don't say it. So there is like 20% who are Vietnamese and can say it. Then there is like 30% who say it but are not Vietnamese, so they're not gonna say it in a Vietnamese way. And then the majority, 50%, don't try ever and just say, hey. The way that it's spelled N-G-O-C kind of throws people off. The Vietnamese alphabet, or the way that my name is spelled, comes from Portuguese missionaries who latinize, romanize the Vietnamese language. In terms of what my name means, you should write it down if you're really interested and look it up. <laughs> I'm not interested in telling people what my name means because I don't think you actually care about what my name means. It doesn't make you feel some special type of way. I think that when people ask me that, it makes me feel weird. Like my name is weird and it has some sort of weird meaning, unlike yours, which has no meaning, it is just the name. I have to confess, I always feel a little guilty when people are like, wow, you actually stick by your name and you don't pronounce it in a different way. I've grown up with the privilege of having a really easy name. <laughs> This is not the name that I grew up with, but I have so little confidence every single day whenever I meet people and and I love it. I know sometimes I, I've begun to not even want to ask people what their name is because one, I'm an old cynical person now and I just think like I'm not gonna see this person again. Who cares? <laughs> and two is that uh, I'll ask them for their name and maybe they'll ask me for the mine and then I'll have to go through the whole thing of like What what say it one more time? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna even try that type of thing So the reason why I have no button as my name is because I have a lot of pride in 
my Vietnamese heritage like I have it and I want to celebrate it. And I see the history of my parents changing their names as assimilating to this country, thinking that it's going to be easier for them when really it should just be easy for anybody with any type of name around the world, at least in my ideal world. But this is also my act of like you can do it to the rest of the world because I think that by me saying hey my name is Ngọc Ban do you want to try saying Ngọc Ban I believe that you can say it and I believe that if you are interested in in knowing me or knowing about some other culture that you can do it and that I will help you same with having pride I like and as much as it sucks when I say my name is Ngọc Ban and people are just like Meh. It's also really rewarding when I say my name is Ngọc An and somebody and they're like, oh, Ngọc An, I am Vietnamese too. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, that's great. And you know how to say my name. We're Vietnamese and we know the struggle or like, we're so cool. So it's kind of just like putting it more out there. You can see on my face that I'm already Asian, but once I say my name, then you know what type of Asian I am. <laughs> the last but not least is just seeing my own personal growth. It's kind of been like an experiment of what life would be like if I had a different name and it's been pretty cool. It's not. It's been a challenge for sure. I think that I've been a lot more shy, timid, reserved, a lot more aware, intellectual, confident and I know why I have it. I know that I will continue to have it even though sometimes I doubt myself. Um, yeah. All of the effort it took to make this video is ridiculous. Maybe I'm just not a professional at making videos. 